hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix dark shadow or black shadow issue with the game on your windows computer now the first step is to simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus, like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, in that case, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder steam apps folder common folder open the game folder select open the bin folder first win64 and then select this exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps and then go back and select this hunt exe file and then click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings in the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse. And then go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder. Open bin win64. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go back and then select this exe file and then click on hunt. click on open now click on add in my case this is also added so once the game is added over here now you can click on ok now you can launch the game and then check next step is to delete shaders folder now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder. Here you can see user folder, open users folder. And over here you can see shaders folder. So before you delete it, if you want, you can just copy this folder and you can create a backup and then you can make a right click on shaders and then you can delete this folder. And then you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to delete the user folder now when you delete the user folder this will reset all your in-game settings all the in-game settings will be lost so if you agree only then you can delete the user folder now for this again make a right click manage browse local files and you can if you want you can create a backup so just copy this uh, uh, folder and can just create a backup so if something wrong happens you can always put it back and once you have the backup, now you can make a right click and then click on delete. Once that is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. Now over here, open bin folder, win x64 folder, select the game exe file, make a right click, then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then hit apply click on ok launch the game from here so make a double click over here and launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties once again and then put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 hit apply and then click on OK and then launch the game from here still not working in that case put a check on disable full screen optimization put a check over here hit apply click on OK launch the game and then check still not working in that case this time 
put a check on change high DPI settings and put a check on override high DPI scaling behavior and over here application and then click on OK and then you can launch the game and then check. Now still it's not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then again uh, make a right click on the game exe file now go to change high dpi settings you can uncheck this click on ok you can uncheck your, all these boxes so if these are not working you can uncheck it hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important do not ignore this so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's ge force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder bin win64 select this exe file click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added now once the game is added click on the game click on options select high performance over here and then click on save and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if still not working go to properties once again this time type in dash d3 d11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so go to this link the link is provided in the video description and then select your graphic card again from the list and then select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on start search so whichever is the latest uh, you can ignore that so right now it's 560 dot 81 the latest one install the geforce game ready driver the previous one is 560.70 you can even try 556.12 so download the previous version and click on get download download it and then once the download is, download is complete run the exe file but make sure that you go for clean installation which i have shown in step 6 so perform a clean installation when you roll back graphics driver and for amd card users you can go to amd website and select your graphic card from the list this is just an example select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card click on submit and then scroll down here you can see previous drivers click on previous drivers and then expand your operating system so whichever is the latest you can try the previous one 24.5.1 or maybe 24.4.1 so try the previous version download it and then install it restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided 
in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Download this x86 and x64 version. So click on x86 and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file as well. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. I already installed it, so it's telling me to restart my computer. After this, you restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. This is very important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security in Windows 10 and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 15, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have these devices connected, which you're not using, disconnect it. So if you have HOTAs, pedals, any extra controller connected to the computer, if you have any kind of USB adapter or dongle connected, disconnect it. Disable overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Next step is to close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, you can turn off overlay in Discord, turn off overlay in GeForce Experience, or you can simply close all the close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI, Afterburner, Reward Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it and then launch the game. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. 
go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Make sure you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. Click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the last step is also important. Uninstall and reinstall the game. Now, for this, first of all, uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to D drive or E drive, any external drive, in that case, try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.